So okay. Hi everyone. Today I'm here with a fellow citizen of mine, established artist and photography professor at the Academy of Fine Arts of Florence, Robert Pettina. Hi, Robert. How are you? Fine. Nice. Nice to meet you, and I hope to see everyone else. <laughs> we don't know where we are. Yeah. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're watching us, though. <laughs> So I start giving a brief presentation for you. Uh, Robert was born in 1970 in Pensbury in the UK and has spent his youth between Brixton and San Giovenale uh, to then move uh, to Italy in 1990 to study at the Academy of Fine Arts of Florence. His works embrace a comprehensive spectrum of artistic practices uh, as photography, uh, video art, installations, performances, and site-specific projects. And he has taken part in numerous exhibitions in Italy and abroad. A first question that I wanted to ask you, Robert, was whether the fact of having lived your youth between Italy and, Engl and England has in some way influenced you as an artist, and if it has also conditioned your vision of the world? No, certainly, certainly. Mm -hmm. I mean, living in, in London in the 1977, uh, that was more or less the time I was spending my childness. Uh, there was a lot of things happening there, mm -hmm. many things that were happening. And I was living in, um, you know, I was squatting with my mother. So we were moving from one house to another. And that time it was really important because I met some really nice people. Uh, it was a gay couple, mm -hmm. really, really nice. He was Greek and he was teaching Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. And his boyfriend was a um, uh, ceramic artist. And he taught in, I think, in Ireland. And, and they just gave me all their tools that they had in the backyard. Oh, wow. So I was experimenting everything there and really having a good time. Then my mother was always going out in the countryside and we were following all these incredible, crazy um, fairs. And there were all these fairs with convoy peoples. So mm -hmm. it was quite a kind of a anarchic situation mm -hmm. where everything was getting brought up mm -hmm. in many ways and you had to really find a way of doing it mm -hmm. so this was a really really very important experience that i was doing and following and i remember the time that my mother was she bought a a, a, a post a public post lorry and we converted it in, in a caravan <laughs> and it was fantastic wow. so we had a really fantastic time mm -hmm. so yeah these were really incredible experience and there were a lot of artists in these art fairs mm -hmm. um there, there was really everything going on there were like gigantic balloons where you could walk inside and you could do like a um and it, uh, visual and sound and tactic uh, experience. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of things, a very a lot of experimental mm -hmm. things going on. So this was really a big, Stimulate. important uh, experience that I was yeah. doing. But at the same time, um, in Florence, I grew up with my father as well, and and he had a house in the countryside and he opened a kind of a interesting activity with um always with the performance of theater music and it was called uh, l'osteria teatro il frantoio okay and this place there was going everything was happening in this place and this was in the 1980s 80, okay. 80, yeah, 19, the beginning of the 1980s, 82, 83. Mm -hmm. And that was another incredible experience. So I was doing these two things together. Mm -hmm. These very things creative. were happening mm -hmm. all the time. So this was a very, very strong experience that, mm -hmm. was, that I had that didn't have nothing to do with any kind of art college studies, but mm -hmm. it was something really 
totally direct. Yeah, on the field. And, yeah. and it helped a lot. And it helped a lot. And obviously, I had a family around that mm -hmm. they were all into art and they were into all these experiences. So mm -hmm. I didn't have a lot of difficulty to live this condition. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're, <laughs> you're also a professor and collaborate in many workshops. Uh, and mm. thus being in contact with young emerging artists stimulates you in some way uh, for the creation of new works. Um, let's say, yeah, I, I, I do quite a lot of workshops and mm -hmm. sometimes in my workshops, I like to do works where it's not only my work, but it's the work of the young students or young artists. So we do like a full experience all together mm -hmm. and we bring up works all together. That, that's one of the really nice things about it. So they're not only like assistants or they're not only following my work, mm -hmm. but often they do their own work and it, their, their own work is inside a whole work where, where in a way I'm the director but oh, okay. I'm living a lot of freedom to anyone to mm -hmm. work with. Mm -hmm. So this is many things that I've been doing like in uh, macro years ago or, or in Finland mm -hmm. uh, two summers ago or many other situations that mm -hmm. they happened and we really enjoyed all manifesta in, in, mm -hmm. in Palermo where we worked and I worked with two students, but I gave them total freedom to build up their own part of the work. So and th this is obviously helps a lot to stimulate you and stimulate them. Mm -hmm. It gives a chance to everyone to, to bring out the best part of them. Mm -hmm. You so. leave free everyone to create. Them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I give a kind of a freedom, but obviously mm -hmm. like, Often I, I build up the project, the, the mm -hmm. project, the main project. It's mm -hmm. it's it's an idea that I'm bringing up, but I give to anyone. I try to understand what's okay. their particularly um, special way of working, and I try to bring up that part of them, mm -hmm. and then I start living them quite a lot of freedom at that point when I understand how to make it way, work out in the work, okay. in the whole peace let's okay. say okay thank you right. uh, i i'll say to um, talk about your work smithson uh, display mm. surroundings at satellite florence mm -hmm. uh, in your works you yeah. managed to overturn uh, the normal perception of spaces objects and social context and yeah. also in a way that it's provocative, uh, poetic, but also irreverent. Uh, yeah. Tell us about your work, Smithson, that it's made with uh, Piaggio, the famous Piaggio uh, Chao, on which you have placed on a voluminous spiral exhaust system. Tell us about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the, the, I. I always liked the work of, of Robert Smithson. So uh, for me, it's really always been an incredible um, experience, all the land out experience. Mm -hmm. That's why I really like going around and searching for interesting parts of, uh, of the landscape. Mm -hmm. And but at the same time, th there's a lot of symbols in Italy that the, the that foreigners go quite crazy, like the Vespa, yeah. the Cinquecento, <laughs> And the chow is like symbols like, whoa, I want one or, or what else? So it's like, it's a symbol, it's a logo, it's, it's in a way we could say we could, we could build up a no logo or mm -hmm. a kind of a contradiction. Mm -hmm. So the idea was, okay, the chow, it's, it's a moped mm -hmm. and it's a moped that it's nearly like a bicycle because it's got these pedals and you can pedal all around. And so if I was like at the time of the 1960s or 50s, uh, a horrible husband saying to my wife, hey, you're going to stay here. You won't move. But I want to go to see my friends. No, you're going to stay here. Uh, so what happens? I say, OK, I'm going to go with my chow. I'm mm -hmm. going to run away with my chow. And how? 
Mm-hmm. My ho- horrible husband didn't give me even <laughs> not one coin. Mm-hmm. So what can you do? You can save a bit of your money. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, the rest you can paddle and go far away as much as possible. Mm-hmm. And then try to put some some gas inside and get get far away from this horrible person. So it was already a, an idea of landscape and moving from one part to another in an emergent way so it's like wow i need to run away i have to find a way of getting away so it's this my idea of landscape Mm -hmm. and at the same time the sparrow the sparrow Mm -hmm. it's the sparrow of robert smithson Mm -hmm. the sparrow jet Mm -hmm. so you united what's the What's thing. the thing is when, if you say Charles Mitzon, it's like bye bye Mitzon, <laughs> yeah. see you next time, mm. maybe in another dimension, in another, <laughs> in another era. Mm. It's like the possibility mm-hmm. of moving from one situation to another. Okay. So that's a bit of wow. this idea mm-hmm. of of space. Continuing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It was amazing. <laughs> it was so uh, much a pleasure talking with you uh, and yeah. having this small chat with me. Thank you so much, Robert. Yeah, you're <laughs> welcome. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you in the next interviews. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye, Julia. Bye. See you. See you next.